Our next example is a more complicated mathematical model. And in here, we want to calculate the velocity of a free falling parachutist. As you can see on the right hand side, the parachutist is falling from the sky and we want to calculate the velocity of it. And we can use again this uh, simple mathematical model, which is the Newton's second law. But over there, we are using the acceleration actually. And uh, as we know, it is defined as A. And to be able to find the velocity, we can simply uh, define this as the uh, derivative of the velocity. And here, because we have V, which is the velocity, now we can try to find it by using some uh, expressions. And this is the velocity. And this T is the time. And time is in seconds. Velocity is in meter per seconds, we can say. So for the Newton's second law, which is given by E A equals F over M, and we defined this already in the previous slide. Um, here we can just use instead of acceleration, dv over dt equals f over m. And this f is the force, and force is here you can see we have a downward force which is defined as ft and an upward force which is defined as fu. And that's why the force is actually simply summation of them. Here F equals Fd plus Fu. Uh, and Fd is the downward pull, pull of gravity. Uh, and that simply it means that uh, it, it gives the force because of the gravity of the earth and Fu is the air resistance or upward force of air resistance. And simply we define Fd as m times g, with g is the gravity, and given as 981. And mass is the mass of the body. And Fv, or Fu, actually, Let's make this capital D as well. And this is defined as minus CV. V is the velocity and C is the drag coefficient. And this is constant. So it's a parameter and the, the unit is kilogram per second. So if we write these into F, substitute them, uh, then we will have this equation as dv over dt equals, so fd plus fu, and fd is mg, fu is minus cv, it's minus because it's negative uh, relative to the mg or the downward force. And at the bottom again we have M. So we simply use this here as these. And the denominator is M again. And if we organize this, finally we will have dv over dt equals the gravity minus cv over M because m's are uh, here cancels out so this is a differential equation
Why? Because actually you can see that there is a derivative over here which can be integrated. Over here, this dv over dt, if we integrate this, um, for example, if we do, if we have integration of this as well as the integration of the other side, we can simply obtain the velocity. And our purpose was already to find velocity. And with this integration, we can easily find the velocity of the parachutist. However, the exact solution for the velocity of the falling parachutist cannot be obtained by using simple algebraic manipulation. And what it means is that we need a complicated integration process. And maybe we don't know how to integrate this or um, it may be difficult to be able to have integration. That's why uh, it, it is a little bit complex to be able to solve this mathematical problem. More advanced techniques, as I said, uh, such as the integration should be applied to obtain the exact or analytical solution. And if, if we try to, for example, integrate this, I will not show the uh, steps how to integrate them, but give the results on, result only. But you will see from the uh, integrated result that it's uh, really complicated to be able to get that. Here, um, let's say initially the parachute is at rest, v is 0 initially, and t is 0, at t is 0. The calculus can be used, or uh, the integration, and our velocity in terms of t is equivalent to g gravity mass over c, the direct coefficient, and in parentheses 1 minus exponential minus c over m in parentheses parentheses times t so this formulation over here and let me close the parentheses as well this formulation over here is the solution for this integration and you can see that we need to use uh, the velocity which is the dependent variable sorry we need to find the velocity as the result which is the dependent variable uh, t is the independent variable because it's uh, it's a variable because it's changing over time and c is c and m are constants this c and m are constants that's why they are parameters and g the gravity is the forcing function so with these we can find the velocity of the parachutists